Welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to cut a senator outfit for children. But the issue with sewing a children outfit is that their head is surely bigger than their body, if you have noticed that. So the question will be like, should I measure the neck to cut the head or should I measure the head to cut the neck on the bodice? So in this video, I'll be sharing a tip in which you're going to follow that's going to get an accurate measurement and their head will be able to go inside their body very, very easily. However, I don't actually blame these children, you know, they think about a lot of things. That's why their head is like that, you know. They think about food and biscuits and cartoons, all those things. It's a lot stressful, right? So, I, I would advise you to just take the accurate measurement, the normal way you're going to take the measurement. The shoulder here is going to be 12 inches. The chest is going to be 29. The tummy is going to be 28. The length is going to be 21. The sleeve is 6, while the neck circumference is 12 inches. Take your accurate neck circumference. So, but during the video, I will show you how you're going to do it so that the head will be able to like enter inside. So you should not worry. So the very first thing we are going to do now is to on our chest measurement, right? In order to fold our outfit. So this is the right side. I already fold it. This is the wrong side of the fabric. So I already fold it into two. Our chest is 29. So all you have to do is to simply divide your chest into four places that's 29 divided by 4 you can see that i'm just going to fold it you can see what i have which is seven one quarter right so to that seven one i'll quarter, be adding one add three quarter of an inch to that to make it a total of nine inches that is for the sewing allowance right for the sewing allowance i'll be adding an extra one three quarter to make it a total of nine inches so now I'll be folding the bodice at 9 inches. You can see that. So I'm going to mark my 9 inch right here. You see that? That's 9 inch. 9 inches. And I'm going to mark my 9 inches at this place also. So now the next thing I'm going to measure is going to be my length measurement, which is 21. 21 inches. You can see that. I'm going to add an extra 1 inches to that, which will make it a total of 22 inches. You can see that i'm going to mark that place so whatever you measure for your length add an extra one inch to that you can see that so i'm going to simply connect them all together i'll connect the lines together you can see So after connect, this is our main chest, this is our main front measurement. This is exactly our main front measurement. Then I will simply cut it out, then let's cut out the back also. So here, after cutting out the front, the next thing we are going to cut is going to be our back. So I'm just going to drag the fabric to the front, just exactly like this. And I will be, I will just iron it and make sure that side is straight. You can see, in order to call that, to make it very, very simple, all you just have to do is just to place your other fabric right there on the, on the, on the, on the fabric like that. Just place it right there. Make sure it is straight. We are going to trace this one. All you have to do is simple. Just add an extra four inches at the end part. You're going to add an extra four inch, four inches. So I keep saying inch or inches, inches. I believe you guys understand. Just add an extra four inches to that. You can see. That's to the M. So at this side, all you have to do is just to cut it out and simply follow the other side and just cut it out. Cut exactly the same measurement because that's our main body circumference, right? So just cut it out. Just cut it out. Make sure you're on the straight and the cutting is also straight. You can see what I did. So after cutting it out, this is what we are going to be having. You can see this. So at the top part, I'm going to simply drag the front bodice to the top. I'm going to drag it to be of the same size with that other one. So you can see our M, our extra four inches is now at the bottom side. You can see that. You can see that. That's our extra four inches. And now at the at the upper part, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'll just iron it to just give it a smoother surface. So to slant the shoulder, I'll be slanting the shoulder by 2.5 inches. If you're working for an adult, it can be more than that. But for children, 2.5 is ideal. 2, 2.5 is ideal. So I'm going to simply slant the shoulder. 
just like this you can see what i did and i'll simply cut that part out so i'll just cut that place out so you know we are cutting the two together both the back and the front so we have our shoulder slant just like that so all you have to do is just to drag the front panel downward you can see what i did drag the front panel downward so after dragging it downward you're going to see your upper part looking this way so all you have to do is just to overlap your back to your front by half of an inch half of an inch you can see that overlap it that's what we're going to be sewing together and i will simply iron this place to just give it a straight balance you can see Make sure that place is straight. You can see that. Just make sure that place is balanced. Then we are going to be able to like cut out our armhole, our neck, and we can do the closing on the side. And that neck area is very important. So now our shoulder is 12 inches. All you have to do is just to divide your 12 into two places. You can see that divide your 12 into two places that will be six inches and i'll be adding an extra a quarter of an inch to that for the sewing allowance you can see and i'm going to apply my six inches from the tip of the neck area to the shoulder area i'll mark that and the depth also is going to be my shoulder divided by two which is going to be six inches i'm going to mark that you can see and i'll simply cuff my arm hole at this side i will be using an arm hole cuff so i'm just going to place it and cuff out my arm hole just like that you can see you can see what i'm doing after cutting coughing out my arm hole i will simply cut that part out simply cut it out so after cutting out the arm hole in order to give the arm hole a depth i'll be removing a quarter of an inch from the front panel so i'm just going to mark a quarter of an inch from that side you can see this is to give the sleeve and the chest fitting a good fitting i've made i've talked about this in my video before do so check some of the my senator cutting video you're going to understand so i'll be cutting just the front i won't be cutting the back i'll be cutting just the front panel so i'll just trim that part out from the front from the from the shoulder area all the way down just a quarter of an inch depth for the front panel you can see that you can see what we have so that is our ham hole is ready so here i want you guys to pay attention so let me curve the bodice the main bodice itself our chest is 29 inches right so i'm going to divide the chest into four places so i want you guys to pay attention after dividing the chest into four places the exact measurement i'll be having you can see here which is going to be seven one quarter right seven one quarter the exact measurement i'll be having i'm going to simply apply it here you can see you can see what i have after applying it here at the stomach area which is the tummy i show you guys the measurements at the tummy circumference which is 28 inches it's 28 inches right i'm going to simply uh, divide that 28 inches also into three places fold that 28 inches into three places which is going to give me exact seven inches seven inches exactly right so at that place i'm going to apply my seven inches right there that's for the tummy measurement that seven inches is going to be from your arm under your arm o by six it's going to be six inches under your arm o and like 13 inches from your shoulder to your arm o just like that so here i want you guys to pay attention at the end part that's my 7.5 inches that's my chest divided by two so for the hip part which is the down part i'll be making it 7.5 inches because the hip has to be a little bit bigger right 
7.5 inches it will be bigger than the chest a little bit so i'm going to connect them together so after connecting them you can see what i have now so the next thing i'm going to do is for my slit allowance for my slit side which is going to be the folding on the down part is going to be two inches from after the two inches for the folding i'll be adding 4.5 inches for the side slit right so that's my side slit I already measured that's my side slit right there you can see that 2.5 2 inches are the folding at the m area that's the first one i remove and 4.5 inches for the slit area that's the one i chalk right now you can see that so the next thing i'm doing is adding one inch all around this side which will be for the sewing allowance you can see that you can see that so after adding that i will simply connect that also together and that is what i will be cutting out now you can see and i'll simply cut that out so you can see that the outfits now have a definition if i'm sewing for an adult usually i don't put all this definition i just cut a straight senator and i just i when i'm sewing it i can actually get the finishing of that part there's a reason for that i'll i'll talk about that on another video so this is our main bodice you can see what we have you can see what we have so far you can see the tummy area so the cuff that's how to actually get this edge side so the next thing that i want you guys to pay attention to now is going to be the neck area so our neck circumference is 12 inches right we are going to cut the exact 12 inches on this outfit right now but the opening is what really matters the opening of the neck is what will make the outfit to go inside for the child when they are wearing it so now to cut out the 12 inches i'll be using three inches depth three inches depth i want you guys to pay attention three inches depth by two inches wideness you can see what i did three inches by two inches so um, i will simply connect that together you can make a cuff or simply make a straight line at each side just like this and here also make a straight line you can see that and simply make a cuff at that edge you can see what i did make a cuff at that edge and at the tip part also at that tip neck part also make a cuff because our neck is not as sharp as that our neck is is that uh, is elastic is he elastic <laughs> i don't know so you can see that 12 inches it has to be divided by two which is going to be one side has to be six inches so you're going to take your time to measure that so you can see just measure the round m part so you can see that six inches has to actually align with that tip of the neck area you can see what i have i have six inches at that point which actually align with my measurement so now six plus six which is going to be give us a total of two right you know the outfit is doubled so whatsoever we cut at the top it's exactly the same thing we're going to be cutting at the circumference also you can see that so the entire neck is now 12 inches so i'll simply cut that part out i'll just cut it you pay attention to what i'm cutting i'm not cutting the entire neck round. i will just cut the upper part i'll cut the upper part you can see you can see what i'm doing so don't make this mistake i've gotten several people that call me and say what can they do how can they amend this please pay attention don't make this mistake you can see so i will just cut it all the way to the front panel which is the down one you can see i also cut the front also all the way you can see you can see what we have so at this tip also i'm going to simply cut out this tip can see that so this is what we're going to have of at our neck area so this is our main body so what i want you guys to pay attention to now is the opening on the neck if you're making your plaquette for a children their plaquette has to be nothing longer than average it has to be nothing longer than nine inches if you're making a plaquette for children nine inches so i'm going to mark nine inches right here that is for the plaquette that is for the plaquettes that's why i write plaquettes there it has to be longer up to nine inches right even though you're working with eight inches or ten inches so now after you get that nine inches the opening on the neck itself the slit opening has to be nothing less than 
5 inches. So if you're adding your 5 inches plus your already 12 inches, it's going to give you a total of 22 inches opening, right? So I'm going to simply cut that open. So and 22 inches opening will definitely enter children's head, even though their head is a little, a little big, uh, bigger. You can see that, so I will simply slit that side open. So when I open the front, you can see what we're going to be having. So that place has to be open enough for their head to enter. You can see it has to be max minimum of, it has to be more than like five inches, right? So that it will be able to like enter easily inside their head and fit perfectly. So the neck is going to definitely fit perfectly in their neck. The neck is going to be perfect. But for the head to actually enter inside the neck is the main issue that most people face. So that's about it on this video. If you like this video so far, make sure you smash that like button. Like click on the like button and you can just share it on your account so that you can have access to it whenever you want to watch it again. Share it on Facebook, share it on anywhere. And uh, that's about it on this video. In case you want to see more of our video, I have a video on the screen right now where I cut a trouser and also another one where I talk about how to make money online.